we will start with OpenMP now. OpenMP stands for Open Multiprocessing. We'll go through some programs. We'll start with Hello World and then we'll build on it to explain various features of OpenMP and, and what all you can do and different constructs. So let's start with a very simple program. I just want to print Hello World in parallel, right? And parallel, I mean multiple threads. So we'll get into details of what a thread means. For now, just uh, think of a thread as something executing in parallel, right? So if there are four threads, there are four codes executing in parallel. So I want to print Hello World from multiple threads, right, in parallel. So how do I write an OpenMP program for that? The very first thing I have to do is I have to include the OpenMP header file. It's called OMP.h. Okay, this contains the prototypes for various OpenMP functions. In OpenMP, you will find a lot of constructs, uh, directives, functions, you know, containing the word OMP, right? It's just a short form for OpenMP, okay? So we include this uh, file omp.h, that's mandatory. Then I define the main function. This is as usual, as you define your main function for any C code. So as I move across slides explaining the code, right, the new code will always be in red. Okay, so just follow the red parts of the code. That will tell you what you're supposed to concentrate on, what has changed from the previous slide. Okay. And now, whenever I want some particular block to be executed in parallel, I have to enclose it within the construct hash pragma omp parallel. This is a compiler directive. Right, so it essentially when you compile this code, right, the compiler understands this directive and knows that it has to do something over here. So what does it do over here? It basically substitutes a lot of code. So typically if you have just one statement which is to be executed in parallel, you just specify that after hash pragma OMP parallel, you don't need to put these curly braces. And if you have a set of statements that you want to execute in parallel, which is generally the case, then you put them in uh, parentheses, right? So that just says that this block is supposed to be executed in parallel. Now what do I do? I basically print hello world from each thread, right? So this is printf hello world. So first I have to compile this code. For the GCC compiler, I just have to give a flag dash f openmp, right? That tells the compiler that this is an openmp code and to use the appropriate libraries and so on. And after compiling, I basically run the output file, which the default is a.out. And what does it print? It prints hello world multiple times. How many times does it print hello world? This is equivalent to the number of threads that were launched, right? The number of threads that executed the parallel block. So in this case, the number of threads was two. But how do we know what is the number of threads? Here, I haven't specified anywhere what the number of threads is, right? So some default will be picked up. So how do you specify the number of threads? There are multiple ways of specifying how many threads you want to execute the parallel region. Uh, this is one of them. So you can specify it using the environment variable OMP num threads. Well, remember the directive is something that the compiler understands. So it substituted that code over there. So that code basically looks up if the environment variable exists, it's going to use that information for something, right? And in this case, it uses this particular environment variable, OMP num threads, looks it up. If it is defined, it uses that to determine how many threads should be launched. How many threads should execute the parallel region, okay? So the way to do it is you say export OMP num threads equal to four, right? So this defines the environment variable, sets it to four. And now if I execute the code again, I again type a dot out. This time I see that there are four prints, right? Hello world is printed four times. So now I know how to control the number of threads that execute the parallel region, right? So this is doing it dynamically. At the time that the code was compiled, it had no information of how many threads are supposed to be launched, right? So the compiler had no way of knowing. So it has to substitute some dynamic code over there, uh, look up this particular environment variable, and if it exists, then launch that many number of threads, right? And this is done dynamically at runtime. So if I just change this environment variable and without compiling the code, I run a dot out again, let's say I set it to three, then it will only be printed thrice, right? So all of this is being determined dynamically. 